Hello everyone and welcome back to Tia's Coloring Chronicles. Today I think we're going to be finishing up this pretty lady right here. So what's everybody? I've already picked out a few colors. I'm going to do that for her hair. This nice brown right here. As you guys know I'm a scribbler. So what has everybody been up to lately? I just been living the mom life. Um, Briar, my son, had his first day of preschool uh, three days ago. And he's been doing really well, adjusting pretty well. He didn't want to go. But we kicked him out of the nest, so to speak. I was like, you got to go learn, man. And we have at one point had wanted Charles to uh, be able to homeschool him. But we're just not in a position where, where we can do that right now. Like, maybe one day in the future, but... That day is not today. And you know what? He's an only child. He needs a social interaction. I get it. I put in a put in for a PRN position, which means as needed for hospice through our local hospital. So I'm hoping to hear back on that soon. Let's see what else has been going on that I can talk to you that I can tell you guys. Oh I uh have been having some problems with some medical problems. Um I had to go get a mammogram. And I'm waiting to see. They said that the mammogram was clear. And I was like, yay! And then the doctor um, called back. And wants me to go in for a sonogram. as well and has referred me to a surgeon so I'm kind of like hmm wonder what that's about so and it was kind of frustrating because the first time I went in to get this done they would actually scheduled me for the wrong test they'd scheduled me for a screening when I needed a diagnostic and so I had to come back because I guess whoever does the diagnostic test was out that day so it was a little frustrating but I mean it, I heard them I heard the ladies talking because they're like she's only 37 why are you here um so it just goes to show ladies get the tatas checked So we'll see how that plays out. It's probably nothing. But a little off-putting that they're like, there's nothing there. You're, you're fine. And then all of a sudden they're like, you know, maybe we should run a sonogram. And oh, by the way, maybe you should talk to this surgeon. And I'm like, hmm. That, that, that doesn't sound like nothing. But we'll see. My husband shaped thing hit his head at work tonight and ended up with five stitches. So that happened, but he braved it out at work because he's a tough man. It's 
and oh oh and there you guys go once again did you guys enjoy the ride yeah in case you guys don't notice I think video quality is better because I bum, 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 got a new phone so maybe I can shoot longer videos now and in another video that'll be coming out soon I am going to show you guys the new pets that we got actually hold on just a second so I have my husband getting them getting one of them and I'll show you both of them um, as you guys know I am an absolute huge rodent lover and I've talked about how I've had rat colonies in the past and I finally broke down and got myself um, new rats. And they're still juveniles. They're still real skittish and still learning to trust me. But I'll give you, I'll let you, I'll let you see her. One of them. It's okay. Oh, this is Bubonic. I only have girl rats because I'm not about that whole rat breeding lifestyle. So I only, ooh, like I said, they're still real skittish. Say hi, Bubonic. Can you bring me the other one? So they are eating out of my hand now. And... They'll cuddle up with me as long as I put something over them. So if I put them on my arm and then I put a towel over them where they feel like they're hidden a little bit, they'll calm down and they'll stay there for a little while. But just out in the open, they're still real skittish. But I would say that these guys are only probably, I don't know, maybe, maybe a couple months old, maybe like six weeks to eight weeks old. Um... And we've only had them for a week. And so in a week's time, we've gotten to where... Thank you, honey. Come here, Plague. And... Meet Plague. <laughs> and so these are our new pets. Bubonic plague. <laughs> Get it? Oh, here you go, hon. Thank you. So those are my new pets, and I'm absolutely ecstatic. In a week's time, they've gotten to where they'll come up, and they'll sniff my fingers through the cage. And um, if I lay my hand in the cage, sometimes they'll come up to it, and they'll take food from my hands, which in, less, in a week's time, that's amazing progress. So I'm so pleased. And I can't wait to start feeding training them to do tricks uh, which is the surprising thing is though they don't seem to like honey nut cheerios which is funny because any other rat i have ever known goes gaga over them like they would do anything for honey nut cheerios but not these guys they're just like Psh, honey nut cheerios whatever lady so but anyway those are the major things that have been going on in my life i got new pets I've had to go to the doctor. Like I said, I'm sure it's nothing, but no worrisome when all of a sudden, you know, they're like, there's nothing there. Oh, by the way, let's go see that. Well, you should go see this surgeon. I'm like, hmm, that, that doesn't sound like nothing, people. <laughs> that sounds like something. So, this is a no hoo hoo marker. And. This is what it has done. It's the only one that's done this, though. So, you know, for the price, I'd still buy them. And this tip doesn't look like that. We're going to do her wings in this orange, I think.
went to Bath and Bodies the other day, Bath and Body Works the other day, and they have their Halloween collection out, and they have a scent there that I have just like. I even bought a candle, and I never buy candles from Bath and Body Works because I think they're way overpriced, like way overpriced. But I did buy this candle because I just, I want my whole life to smell like this scent. Um, and it's called Vampire Blood. And it makes me sad that it's only going to be around for Halloween. So. But the, I bought the hand, the, bought one of the hand lotions. I bought the candle. Um, what else did I buy? I bought the little hand sanitizer. I bought the hand soap. And their semi-annual sale was a couple weeks ago. And there was a scent that they discontinued called Dark Kiss. And I cleared them out of that, that as well. I bought <laughs> pretty much every shower gel and lotion I could find. I have dark kiss hand or dark kiss uh shower gel for years probably. But it was one of those scents and it was kind of weird because it was one of those scents when I first smelled it, I was like, mm, I don't like that. But the more I smelled it, the more I liked it, and now it's like one of my favorite scents. I don't know if that happens to anybody else or if it's just me. But I also have this really weird habit of like So almost all of my really close friends, I mean, not all, but almost all of my really close friends, um, we didn't like each other when we first met each other. So if I think back to C, my friend Crystal, um, we didn't like each other. Um, And it took us a couple, we, we met at work and it took us a couple of weeks of working together to really warm up to each other. And we became friends because she was sorting her Gardettos. And I was like, what are you doing? So we've, we've joked that if we ever got friendship tattoos, it would have to be Gardettos. Like a little rice chip or, or a little uh, rye chip or something. My friend Teresa and I, we didn't like each other when we first met either. Now, me and Teresa have been friends since I was 15, and I'm 37, so, like, I even watched her daughter be born. We got my husband a new truck because his car took a nosedive on us into the gateway of automotive Hades. And so we're like, you know, we've been talking about getting a vehicle that tows anyway because we want to get a camper in a year. So we might as well just bite the bullet and do it. And so we did. And let me tell you, his truck, it's fancy. Has the whole Bluetooth going on and like his key doesn't look like a key. There's no gear shift. There's like a dial to turn. It's weird. It's weird. I keep trying to reach for something to shift it into drive or 
into reverse and I remember I have to turn this dial instead and I'm like this is just so unnatural who thought this up It's a Dodge Ram. We were actually looking at an SUV before we were looking at the Ram. Um, what was it? I'm trying to think. I don't remember what it was, but it was going to be way out of our price range once we, once they told us the monthly, and I was like, ooh, we can't do that. Truck was a little more manageable though. And then hopefully next year I can buy myself my camper. And then you guys know where you'll find me every weekend camping. Well, not every weekend because I'll have to work, but you know the point. Actually, I actually kind of really like those wings. And I think we're going to make the case to this rockabilly thing the same green as we did the lava lamp. I think we're, yeah. So I've decided to start a new project that I'll show you guys here in a minute after I get done. I should have just waited to mention it, honestly. But hey, guess what? Things on this channel rarely make sense or are cohesive. <laughs> it's all kinds of scattered. And some of you won't like it at all. And some of you will think it's probably one of the coolest things ever. I'm okay with both, and I understand if when this comes around, if you guys don't want to watch, well, I'm going to go ahead and show you now, because they're right here. Oh, did that pencil just come flying out at me? It's the ghost. <coughs> Excuse me. So, my mom bought me these years and years ago. And... Some of you guys know, you know, I'm, so I, oh, I have, you can't see them. These are a deck of tarot cards that my mom bought me. I am going to color the tarot deck on this channel. Now, I do have some of them started, but I decided that I, like, I have these two started. I think I'm going to go back over these with markers and color them in with marker is what I think I'm going to do so but that's going to be the new project for this channel is we're going to try to do one card a week that's a goal not a promise because <laughs> you know how things go on this channel I'm like oh I'm better oh hey I'm going to do these and then it just doesn't happen but the goal is one card a week. Okay, what should I make the inside lining? What do you think? Because the cherries are red. Let's just go ahead and paint this green real quick. See, I kind of think it needs to be 
It's almost like a crimsony red on the inside. I kind of think that might be too much color contrasting going on. So I think I'm just going to maybe... Color for there. I don't know. I'm stuck. Well, moving on until I figure it out. We're going to go ahead and do her glasses. Which I have this gel pen, which I, you guys know gel pen's not really my favorite medium. But sometimes, sometimes you gotta use them. Because I want a little bit of sparkle in our glasses. So I guess there's actually been quite a bit going on since the last time I talked to you guys. We've gotten a new car. We've gotten new pets. I have this fun thing going on with the doctors. Yay! Tiny human started preschool. And let me tell you, that whole day while he was in preschool, I was a nervous mess. And I kind of had a little bit of mom guilt going on, too, because, like, I was at work his first day of preschool, so I wasn't there to drop him off. Which feels like it, it would have been an important milestone I need to be, but, you know, I still got to work, put food on the table, kind of speak, you know. So I had a little bit of mom guilt that I wasn't there. I mean, he's not going to remember I wasn't there. He's not going to care in five years that I wasn't there. Heck, he doesn't even care today. But, I mean, you guys know what I mean, right? Well, those look cute on her. Yep. Okay. So let's try to find like a cherry red. Oh look, this one says cherry pink, doesn't it? I really say cherry pink. Yep, we're gonna go with it. Oh yeah, that's perfect. I think that might be the shade we make her lips to. I'm going to do that inside green. There we go. I actually like the way. I don't think I'm going to actually color the that part. I kind of like how it's looking just like that. <clears throat> I think I'll color the rockabilly something. Probably black though. And then we'll go ahead and color the hardware. And this arm will be silver. This little part.
This is with black, that needs to be silver. And let's see, I have a black one right here. Oh, got to be honest for you, that was a mistake. I don't think this, I don't think this is coming out very well. Yeah. We made a mistake. It's fine. It'll, it'll live. I'm not that obsessed with it. Um, let's see. Let's color her buttons. I'm going to go silver with the buttons and with the buckle. We will go black for the record. Wrong end. So I was reading an article on Facebook. Um, Cause you know, everything you read on Facebook is true through ooh, what website post it soul pancake maybe um how talking to yourself which i do quite often is actually healthy and i was like huh And just touch that right there. So if you talk to yourself, like I do, rest assured that it is normal and healthy to do so. Or at least it is according to the internet. I think we're about ready to finish her up, guys. What do you think? I need to do that, her lips and her eyes. She's looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with her. So do you guys have a card that you would like me to I think we have to pull out the fine liners to do that tattoo um, do you guys have a card from the tarot that you'd like me to color first and if so leave it in the comments below and maybe that'll be the one I do I have several other decks that I use, um, but I just thought that would be a fun little project. All right, eye colors. I'm thinking blue, but I always think blue for eyes. So let's do, hmm. yes, I like that blue. All right, I think we just have the tattoo to end the blah, 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 blah. 
I think we just have the tattoo left and we are done. Look at that. We are being all kinds of productive. We're so good. Finished a picture earlier tonight too. So reds for the heart, obviously. And then we'll do some orange flames. Is this the color orange I want? Oh, God, no. That's terrible. That's even worse. Okay, I'll be honest. I'm not a big fan of oranges. Oh, God. No, not that one. Eh, let's change it up. Maybe we'll do this. I can live with, live with that. And then we have a little bit of flower detail that we'll do in purple. And then I'm going to leave the banner. I'm going to leave it white. And there we have it, guys. She's all finished. I don't think she turned out too bad. So I just have to sign her. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed our color and chat. Until we meet again, live well. Bye, guys.